Welcome to the Melon Garden Channel, guys. Um, today we're going to be, uh, well, I'm going to have to plant my peppers today. Um, they've gotten too big inside the house, and uh, so I'm going to be planting them out um, today. I'm going to be putting them under cover. Uh, we're in the mid well, we're in the mid 50s right now, so I think they'll be fine. So this, this is what I got planned out. This is the, what I've got my chart here done, done like. And I've got my cayennes over here. Got my jalapeno plants right here, and my red peppers. In that garden there to the right. So that's I followed the plan the way I wanted it. So now I'm going to start planting. Uh, I'm going to do my jalapenos first, and uh, so let's get started on that. Um, yeah, they've gotten too big to excuse me. They've gotten too big to uh, to keep inside the house now. So I'm going to take a chance and uh, see if I can plant these out. Uh, they're already starting to flower here, as you see, and. Uh, they might be, well, they might be a little stunted. I don't know, we'll see how big they grow this year. Just keep, keep, stay tuned because uh, it's, it's going to be a new experience for me as well to see how well these actually grow. They might stay where they are and give me some peppers or they might actually grow to, to size. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. Um, so let's start uh, planting these out. Now I've got uh, my blood meal, granular fertilizer, and some bone meal. So we're going to start and... Uh, I'm going to start planting these out here. These are the jalapenos. I'm going to have a lot of jalapenos this time around. And I'm only going to show you a few how I do my plants here. And I've got my, my wire mesh here ready to cover up as well. I'll show you how I do that. Let's get this down here. Now they are flowering, so I'm going to go in a little bit of bone meal. No, Lucy, you can't have that. Blood meal. Granular fertilizer. And work it in the soil. A little bit root bound, see? So we'll see how that, see how that turns out. Now I plant these, these uh, I sowed the seeds of these uh, January. 16th and uh might be a little bit too early so next time next season i'm going to start my seeds in march and i think i'll have a better uh better plants i think and healthier plants but i think they'll do fine they're going to give me some some peppers uh, i don't think they're going to die off that around let's see one to the next so we'll see how they do uh, I think um, they say uh, when, when, when they're to this kind of point they might just stay the size they are maybe a little stunted the production might not be as good pepper wise but uh we'll see what happens with these um you know pretty healthy plants already i just got to keep them covered up make sure they don't get any of that cold freeze if we have one And I've composted this twice. I did it uh, in the fall. I did uh, compost of uh, in the fall to prep my garden. And I've also added compost. Uh, I think I added it in, in November. And then I added some more um, uh, March. I did a video on that too. So this is pretty much ready to go. I gotta water these too. They look a little bit dry, so I'm going to. Yeah, this one's really dry. So I'm gonna water these with uh, some uh, fishy motion. And uh, that should give them a little bit of a boost.
uh, I've been looking at the weather and it's going to be it's going to be in the uh, mid 40s low 50s this week I haven't seen anything too too extreme to where they could probably kill my plants but I'm going to keep an eye on the weather cover them up when it's nice and when it's going to be cold and then uncover them when it's going to drop below below 30 mid 30s so I'll just cover them up make sure they don't get that cold air that's this one here next we're going to do after this I'm going to do my uh, my red pepper bed and uh I'm gonna try and get that done. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of peppers to plant today. Got at least. I mean, I'm thinking. I got 40 plants, maybe. About 40, 30 plants of peppers to plant today. I've got two, four, six, eight, sixteen plants of jalapenos in this bed right now. Sixteen plants, and I had um, last season I only had eight, eight plants total. So I plan to have hopefully a lot of jalapenos this time around. See how they do. But I'll know better next time to plant them a little later in the season. So I know March would be perfect starting point. Got a little bit antsy, and I'm kind of. This is my third time starting seeds, so I'm kind of, kind of still learning how to do this. Had a good result, but just did you them know, a little too early. So I know that uh, to change my 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 uh, time next time next season. Oh, yeah. All right, now I'm going to water them with um, some uh, liquid emulsion, fish emulsion liquid. Um, get my nice little drink, get a nice start. Supposed to have rain tomorrow as well. Got a nice little drink of a uh, fish solution. This is a two gallon, two gallon uh, watering can, and uh, I've probably put about three tablespoons of the solution. Want it very nice, nice and concentrated, because they're gonna need it. They've been, they've been put out. They've been, they've been put out here a little sooner than well, I don't know. I, I, I think it's. Not too, too soon in the season, but I had no choice. I had to do it. Let's keep it. Just ought to give them a nice little start. I don't think they need the nitrogen. All right, let's do the red peppers. Well, let me show, um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cover these. How I'm going to cover this up. So I already got these, these are called wire uh, concrete mesh that you can cut the size. They come in eight, eight foot lengths, eight, nine foot lengths. You can cut them to size, really nice. So I got the plastic here. Let's move all this out of here. And you wanna just, might cover them up tonight actually, so. Bring this over. I 
you just want to protect them from that cold wind, you know, that, that cold air. If it gets too low, if it gets too season, all you want to do is protect them from that cold air. Grab some clips. You seem to do the trick. Some cheap dollar dollar store clips. Around, clip them like that. Do that. I'll get strong cut for that one. There you go. So So you're gonna wanna uh, cover it up real the ends real nice and uh You want to cover up the ends real good. I'm trying this new mic thing out here. So they don't get any cold air through there. And that should protect them from the cold temperatures at night. So I'm going to leave them uncovered for now. I think they'll be okay. So let's try, let's plant the other ones right now next door. See, see how that's done over there. These are my red peppers. They're Italian sweets and uh, red bell. Stunning's red bell, and these are this beds have been composted as well. So I'm just gonna give a little extra fertilizer. And I'm gonna be covering this up too. All, all my pepper beds are gonna be covered up. When I see that the low temperatures are gonna be coming through here, they'll stay covered up. And then when the weather gets to 70, 80 degrees, I'll uh. I'll uncover them for the day and just, you know, keep them watered, you know. Okay. And uh, this bed's been composted also. All my beds have been composted. So it won't be too long before I can plant the rest. Actually, I'm going to start my... I'm going to start laying my cucumbers and zucchinis right now. I'm going to start my seeds for those actually two days. After I'm done with this, I'll be planting my, my cucumber seeds and my zucchinis seeds and have those ready for May. Then we can have those ready to plant by, I don't know, middle of May, maybe, when the weather really gets nice and warm. So I'm going to do my, do my cucumbers, my zucchinis. Um, what else? Uh, do some kale. Uh, I'll do my beans, pole beans, green beans, um, bush beans. You can plant bush beans and green beans out in the soil as soon as the temperature gets pretty good. But I'm going to try and I'll do mine from seed and uh, so I can just have them ready to go in the garden. down so we'll see how these we'll see how these turn out they've got they've been a little too long so I think they'll be okay but they need to go now we'll see if these grow to size hopefully they're not stunted to where they they stay the size they are but we'll hopefully they'll, they'll get a little bit bigger and give me some peppers I'm going to keep feeding them a lot of good fertilizer, a lot of compost, 
make sure they get that uh, get that growth little little growth spurt to get the size hopefully I think I'll get something out of it plant it in there one more to go so I'm going to start my seeds as soon as I'm done with this video start my seeds for my cucumbers and everything so I'm going to be pretty busy today I'm trying to do that got the day off so plenty of time to do what I got to do around here so The sweet red pepper. You know, I didn't, I didn't grow any bell, any green bell peppers this time around. I'm going to just try the red peppers and see how they go. I might might have to go to the store and buy me some green peppers. It'd be a little too late to sow the seeds for those, but I might go to Lowe's and get me a couple of those plants to stick around the yard too. I didn't, I didn't plant those those seeds. Didn't, didn't sow those seeds. Alright, so I'm going to water them with some, some fish emulsion, nice little drink. I might leave them open. I've already, I've already acclimated these uh, plants to the weather. So I've been putting them up for the past week. I've been putting them outside, out on the deck. So they should be ready to go. So I might leave them uncovered right now so they can get a little bit of that sun. And, uh, It's going to be like a cloudy, cloudy day today, so shouldn't be too bad out here for them. I'll be covering this one up as well and this is the I'll just show you real quick this is the cayenne pepper and paprika uh, I've got the alma paprika pepper and um, what's the other one alfaro cayenne pepper and I'm going to try these out this year and see how they do. And these are in the same kind of condition. I had to plant these out early as well. So I'll be doing that later on. Getting these inside in the garden, watering them, fertilizing, and doing some fishing motion water for them as well. Um, so this the cabbages. See how the cabbages are doing? I don't know if you saw the last video. See how big they've gotten so far? They've grown quite a bit. So they're actually doing pretty good. Better than last year, I think. They're actually going to probably do something this year. As long as they keep the slugs down. We can take a look at that. See how big they've gotten. And these are the kales that uh, overwintered over the season. This, these are, this is the kale that overwintered... Uh, uh, had all season long last season and they went through the winter through snow and then I just transplanted them there and they've gotten bigger as well so hopefully I'll have some kale as well and my garlics here is starting to starting to get that growth back on there 
So thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to be um, still out here working on this. I'm going to be planting these peppers out, doing some watering, doing some covering up as well. Now, as you can see, everything's starting to look a little bit greener now. Um, the weather's looking a little better, so um, I'll have another video soon. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, thank you for for coming and checking out my video. Um, thank you, subscribers, for subscribing. I can't believe I'm at, uh, almost at 400 subscribers. That's I can't believe that. And thank you, guys. I appreciate that. And um, all you new viewers, please uh, subscribe. Check out my videos. Um, you know, hit the like button. Almost subscribers, please hit the like button, and uh, so they can circulate these videos, have more people take a you know take a look at them and check them out. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys.